idea for clean energy that I think it's fair to say hardly anybody else on the planet had ever thought of. Every once in a while, you come across something that makes you say, genius. Two American women, Julia Silverman and Jessica Matthews, have come up with a new way to fight the battle against the lack of electricity in developing countries. How, you ask? It's quite extraordinary, really. Kick a ball, turn on a light. That's right. Literally, a ball of energy. Socket harvests energy from a soccer game and turns it into electricity. An inexpensive product that packs a life-changing punch. 30 minutes of play can power an LED lamp for three hours. Tell me how it works. Sure, so the science behind it? Yeah. Essentially, we put a mechanism inside the ball that harnesses the kinetic energy that's generated during play and then stores it as electrical energy. Mm -hmm. So imagine any motion, anything that you do, that's pretty much kinetic energy. So we harness that and store it in a basic battery and then you can carry around the ball anywhere and plug in a lamp, plug in a cell phone charger and access reliable power. Can you show me? Sure, of course, sure. Of course. You brought some of our So that's the ball. Today. Okay. So yeah. here's the ball. Um, and so you play with this for about 30 minutes, normal play, and you could get three hours of LED light with this LED lamp here. Check this out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> An LED might not seem so impressive uh, yeah. for here, but, but for one out of five people in the world who don't have access to electricity, that can make all the difference. What started as a college project is now an innovation that could change the lives of thousands of children and their families. The conditions where these kids are playing are not great, dusty, dirty, mm. all kinds of elements. Um, can, they, can the ball withstand that? Yeah, that's actually the reason why we created the ball that doesn't need to be inflated and can't be deflated. Uh, it's a little bit harder than a normal ball. That's because these conditions are a little bit usually harder than a normal grassy field. So um, it can take the rocks and the daggers. Melissa, I think we're actually just in Mexico mm. where we saw some of the worst conditions we've seen in a while and it, the ball did okay. This year, 3,000 soccer balls will be delivered to Mexico, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Haiti, and South Africa. Sometimes the smallest ideas can truly brighten the world.